I'm Yuri Nikiforov, I'm professor of pathology and vice chairman of the Department of Pathology at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. NIFTP is a new entity in, among thyroid tumors. This acronym stands for non-invasive follicular thyroid neoplasm with papillary-like nuclear features. Kind of a little bit long and cumbers cumbersome, you know, uh, a name, but it there was an important reason why such a long name was selected. This is a it's not a new tumor that never been known before. These tumors were previously diagnosed as a t variant of papillary thyroid carcinoma. But two years ago, an international group reclassified those tumors as NIFTP. Uh, it has been made because uh, n uh, the, the knowledge in the field have been accumulated, suggesting that these tumors very rarely, if ever, hurt the patient. So based on this knowledge, based on the data that have been accumulated, an international group of physicians get together and review this entity and realize that because of the very, very low risk of this tumor to come back, patients do not have to have a word cancer it's not stuck to, 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 you know, to, to, to the definition of this tumor. And this tumor can be called non-cancers, and that's what NIFTP is. Yes, I believe it is a good thing on multiple levels. On one, I mean, th th these patients sh don't, you know, don't have to feel that they have cancer, which was that, that nobody take very, take very lightly. But it's also very important because uh, it means that if such diagnosis is rendered, it means that patients do not have to have extremely close follow-up. They don't have to have six every six or 12 months annual checkups. They don't need to have scans very often. They don't need to have additional treatments with, with completion of thyroidectomy or radioactive iodine. I want to stress that NIFTP is still a surgical disease. It's a tumor that has to be removed. NIFTP is believed to be a pre-cancer condition, a nodule that can transform to cancer and, and hurt the patient. But if we remove this nodule by limited surgery, patient is practically cured. No need for completion of thyroidectomy, no need for radioactive iodine. From that perspective, I believe this is very beneficial for the patients. Yes, it has been. Although this is a relatively new entity, but uh, just after the paper, the, the, the sort of the, a study was published, it was in April of 2016, actually this study was featured in the New York Times, and that helped really to sort of distribute this knowledge and, and for patients, for physicians to see it much faster than usually medical knowledge travel. And for that and for many other reasons, we were sort of happy to see that in 2017, the World Health Organization accepted NIFTP as an official type of thyroid tumor, as an official thyroid entity. And now it is included in the classification in the WHO or World Health Organization classification of thyroid tumors and is expected to be widely sort of used as a terminology. Still want to stress that this is a new entity and still pathologists and clinicians still are learning how to diagnose it and how to approach these patients. But obviously this is now a terminology that is available and used worldwide. I mean, so how patients with tumors diagnosed or reclassified as NIFTP should be followed? Uh, I want before even I, I approach answering this question, I want to stress that this is still a new entity, a new entity that we reclassified, redefined two years ago. So our knowledge is still limited. For that reason, we, we uh, uh, suggest and we, we advocate using a cautious approach and still monitor these patients after lobectomy with, with annual checkups, with ultrasound, uh, examination of the, of the remaining gland, but importantly, we believe, based on the current knowledge, that these patients do not need 
completion thyroidectomy and do not need radioactive iodine treatment. So what, what should we tell to patients who were diagnosed with this tumor uh, several years ago with thyroid cancer that now is reclassified as non-cancer, as NIFT-P? And I want to say that we, do, we did have a lot of such questions in the in 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 wake in in of the, you know, in, in just after the, the uh, the, the study proposing uh, this re reclassification was released. And I want to say, f first of all, that uh, it is important to understand that this, is no, this reclassification has not uh, fixed an error or mistake that this was happening for many years before this re reclassification. This would be incorrect way to look at it. It's simply that based on the knowledge, based on the amount of knowledge and data and information that we accumulated, we realized that, in fact, this tumor doesn't have to carry the, 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 the name of cancer because it will not unlikely to hurt the patient. But why, why, then the question is why we did classify it as cancer for many years? Because under microscope, it has many features of cancer, not all, but many. And we thought that these features are sufficient to warn the clinicians that this cancer may, this tumor may hurt the patient. So only with new knowledge and with advanced knowledge, we were able to reclassify this. So, but what I want, I, I, I want to, to, to tell also this patient that, that perhaps they still, still can rediscard re discuss this issue with their clinicians because probably the intensity of the follow-up, if they continue to have annual checkups for cancer as it is prescribed for cancer, they may de-escalate, they may reduce the intensity of this follow-up because there is very likely that this, this tumor is not truly a well-developed cancer. Well, they ask the doctors if they are aware of this reclassification and of the fact that based on the current knowledge, this tumor not lo no longer believed to be cancer, but rather a pre-cancer condition and can be managed and this patient can be followed with less intensity and with less frequent visits with and all studies, which obviously are expensive, as truly we follow patients with uh, thyroid cancer. Well, I suggest the viewers just to, 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 to keep being informed about this condition and, and follow the literature because obviously as a new entity, there is a lot of interest, there is a lot of new studies that are currently being performed in the United States and many other countries of the world. And this time we will, le will be learning more and more details and more and more specifics how we should manage patients with this type of tumor.